Hey, what's up guys? Today I thought it would be really cool to show you how I model in X-Shape. Uh, it's also a good opportunity because there was a new release of X-Shape, so uh, a great piece of software just got that much better. Um, so I decided to start off with uh, trying to model a kayak. I always thought it would be really cool to model a boat or a kayak or something like that. Uh, it's just a very organic and complex uh, thing to model with uh, traditional uh, software. So with X-Shape, I was able to start with a, a box and just start modeling my way uh, and kind of design on the fly for this one, you know? Uh, I didn't have a sketch or anything to go off of. I just started modeling and I wanted to show you kind of my process. Uh, I started basically with just a box and was able to push and pull my way uh, through it. Uh, the subdivisional services are great, easy to work with. Uh, there's new selection sets, so you can select and unselect items as you go, making it really easy. Another really cool thing about the new X-Shape is the materials are right there. So there's a ton of materials to pick from. Uh, for this, I went with like a plastic that had like a, a topology texture to it. I thought it looked kind of like a road map, looked pretty cool. So I dropped that on there. And all in all, it was just a really cool experience. Uh, it's, it's a really cool piece of software that gets better. And basically, uh, the more time I spend inside X-Shape, uh, the more I just want to stay there and keep modeling really cool things.